Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Knockgrinder. Today's story is July Patch Week. This week, pretty much all the major players released their security updates for the month. This includes Apple, Adobe, and Microsoft. Let's start with Apple's Monday patch day. Apple released updates for basically all their operating systems, Mac OS, uh, TV OS, Watch OS, and iOS. And these updates fix over 100 different vulnerabilities in all those products, so you definitely need to go get them as soon as possible. If you have an Apple device, it probably auto-updates, so just let it do its job. Now, if you're a Windows user, they also released updates for Windows's iCloud and iTunes as well. And by the way, I shouldn't forget there's a Safari browser update as well. Now, I won't describe all the vulnerabilities in these updates. There's quite a few of them, but some are serious code execution ones, so go get those updates. I will mention a new feature. Uh, one of the updates for iOS specifically brings a new USB restricted mode to iOS devices. Basically, it gives you the option of disabling a USB port after an hour. And this is because there's various law enforcement devices out there that can actually get past Apple security and can actually uh, grab all your encrypted content from your device if they can plug into a USB port. By disabling it after an hour, it should prevent that kind of thing from happening. Now that said, shortly after this came out, uh, someone's already bypassed this issue. A researcher from Elcom already has a blog post talking about how to bypass this USB restricted mode. That said, I suspect Apple will fix that issue soon as well. Anyways, Apple users, go get your updates. Next up is Adobe Patch Day. Adobe on Tuesday released updates for Flash, Reader, and Acrobat, and also Adobe Connect and Experience. Experience Manager. Actually, I misspoke in Apple. Uh, there's not a hundred vulnerabilities in the Apple patches. What I meant was there's over a hundred, I believe 105 vulnerabilities in these Adobe patches. There are a lot of vulnerabilities for the Apple patches, but that 105 number is how many vulnerabilities Adobe is fixing. So even though there's four programs involved, this is a pretty uh, intense and significant patch. Now, the two big ones are Flash and Adobe Reader. Many people out there have those two products. And and basically, uh, a lot of these vulnerabilities are file parsing vulnerabilities that result in code execution. So if a bad guy can trick you into downloading a PDF or downloading some sort of web content through your browser, they can exploit these vulnerabilities in Reader and Flash to execute code on your system. Be sure to go get those fixes. Uh, by the way, Flash also comes with Windows, which we'll talk about soon. So there's some Microsoft vulnerabilities for this Adobe patch day as well. Finally, we come to Microsoft Patch Day, which is probably the most important one for most users. Microsoft released a bunch of fixes for Windows, both of their browsers, Skype, the .NET framework, uh, Outlook, and a few other programs as well. There's probably a little over 50 vulnerabilities between all these different patches that are being fixed, so you definitely want to go get them. Now, the only critical updates seem to be the browser ones, the IE and the Edge updates, so those are probably the ones you want to go get first but you definitely want to fix all those vulnerabilities as well. Anyways, it's a huge patch day. Hopefully you already started earlier this week, but again, if you're an Apple user, Adobe user, or Microsoft user, you want to go see if you use any of the affected products and get those updates as soon as possible. You know, often bad guys are not exploiting zero-day vulnerabilities. They exploit old vulnerabilities, so the quicker you close the vulnerability window and patch these products, the safer you're going to be online. That's it for this month's patch day. Thank you for watching.